Uh, good morning, guys. Welcome to Math Session with Mr. M. And today we are doing Grade 12 Differential Calculus. So I want you to pay attention because it's a very easy, to easy topic and very straightforward. I'm going to take from one of your past question papers during exam. Now, this one says if you are given f at x is equal to x squared plus 2. So this is what you are given. And they ask you, they say, they tell me now from first principles, from what you are given. Remember what you are given is x squared plus 2. We know the formula for first principles is f prime of x is equal to f at x plus h subtracted by f at x all over h. That is the general formula. So from there, we are going to work our limits. Now, it's lim, in fact, h turns to zero. There it is, general formula. So we know that f at x is equal to x squared plus 2. But f at x plus h, we do not know. We are going to find out now. So it means to us, and it's saying to us, that f at x, the given equation, you are going to have to add an h where there is an x. And on the general equation that you are given, there's only one x, which is x squared. So where the x is, that's where you add an h. Now, the, the general one says, we're going to write it, say lim, h tends to zero. f at x plus h tends now to be x plus h, all of this is squared, plus 2, subtracted by x squared plus 2, which is f at x. Do you see it now? So all of this is divided by h. Take note. Now, going down, the limb of h tends to 0. This one, we are going to break it. The bracket we're going to break it because it's raised to the power of 2. It means now, because it's raised to the power of 2, it means the bracket multiplies itself by itself. So you are going to have a situation where you have an x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 2. You open the bracket, there's a negative x, there's a negative x squared plus, in fact not plus, negative 2. This negative sign affects everything that is inside the bracket, all divided by h. Now, there you have it now. Going down, the limb of h tends to 0. Never forget this limb, h tends to 0. It's very important. It shows that you know what you are doing. Now, you are going to look for like terms. You have an x squared and a negative x squared. Subtract each other. You have a positive 2 and a negative 2. They cancel each other. Then you are left with 2xh plus h squared all over h. Going down the limb of h tends to 0. Then from here, you are going to take out a common factor, which is h. h, take it outside, you are left with 2x. And then on the other h, you are left with 1h because it's squared all over h. Okay, let's go down. Now you see from here, there's an h here at the top and an h at the bottom. So the h cancels an h. You are left with limb of h tends to 0, 2x plus h. Then from here, you are able now to apply your limits, which is equal to your h becomes 0. So your 2x is plus 0, which is equal to 2x, your final answer. There's your final answer. It's 2x. I hope you see it. I'm not sure. The answer, your final answer is 2x. So, you have now differentiated. And the next question that they can ask from you is different Differentiation. I hope I'm spelling the word right. But here now, 
what they say they say determine the differentiation of y over differentiation of x if y is equal to 4x cube plus 2 over x we know what we are doing now very easy from here we are going to turn a fraction to an exponential form and then we have an of 4x cube plus 2 over x we know is an x to the power of negative 2 raised to the power of negative 2 so that we can know what you are working and see it now from here you are going to work with the exponents the exponents are going to affect uh, the base the number that is next to the variable the first one has a 4 so 3 times 4 is 12 x 3 that 3 at the top is going to be subtracted by 1 because you have done this once so you are going to be left with 2 you have 12 x plus or the raised to the power of 2 plus in fact this will not be plus because the negative 2 is going to multiply with the positive 1 tends to be a negative 2 x negative 2 minus 1 becomes negative 3 then you have differentiated this is basically the question that they will ask from your exam and they always come out so you must be ready and be equipped with me mr m every morning i am here for you anything you have you want a, a personal session with me you can make an appointment on my facebook page i'm always there i'm ready to reply to your messages and also you can drop me a whatsapp and follow my page uh, my youtube page you can always subscribe there the videos are always there are loaded god bless you have a wonderful day bye bye